Hello everyone. As we are having too many uh, videos now and it's getting hard to find things in different videos, I thought it's not a bad idea to make a video guide so I can explain very briefly where everything is. And here you cannot, uh, these are all linked titles, but you cannot uh, use them uh, in the video. So I'm going to put all the link titles at the bottom in the in the comment section so I hope that you can just click on it and get to the right video now we have a number of lecture videos uh, the first one is introduction to calibration and uncertainty analysis here I go through step by step of what calibration is what uncertainty how, where does uncertainty coming and all that it's a general overview of the whole thing including sensitivity analysis validation and so on it's a bit longer video. The next video is the is Swatka Parameter Estimator, SPE. Here I describe what SPE is and what is the difference between SPE and SUFI2. Uh, in the third video, I describe the PSO program. As you know, these are the only two programs I kept in Swatka Premium. So I describe a little bit the algorithm of PSO. And then we have three, uh, video number four, which is calibration of a snow mountain watership. So I go through the whole procedure of how to calibrate a uh, snow watershed and how to uh, calibrate the T-lapse and P-lapse and, and, and all of that. There is four, one, four, two, and four, three is about that. And then we have five, video number five. And here I go through a complete calibration of a watership in the Danube basin and this is I start from the very beginning and to the very end and there are five uh, videos here that cover that and then in video number six I uh, talk about SWOT input data uh, actual evapotranspiration climate change and uh, nitrate calibration and a whole bunch of things here in video number seven I describe SWOT plus comp in video number eight and we have uh, i think three uh, two video number eights this is about swat cup premium 6.2 uh, the spe program and then the pso program for swat cup premium and in video number nine i describe again the, the the calibration using both pso and spe together then we have a number of uh, how to do videos and these include uh, a video on elevation band, uh, the meaning of relative change, identifiability issues. There are not all of the parameters you should fit together. Uh, I see that many people just use all the parameters, put it together and try to calibrate it. And that's not how things really go. And then in video number five, I describe uh, what 95% prediction uncertainty is and how you can calculate this in Excel. Uh, in video number five, I talk about validation, how you should choose the validation uh, data. In video number six, we have issues with types of objective function. There are a number of issues with objective function, and there are many different types of objective functions that I discuss here. Uh, video number seven and video number eight, they use the Z-score uh, statistic to compare to distribution, you can compare to see if you do two different BMPs to see if, if they are different, really, or if you uh, apply a BMP, does it make a big difference? Is it different from the time you didn't apply BMP? So you can compare the, the output distributions. And then in video number eight, I talk about the decision making under uncertainty. And again, I use the Z score and here, uh, Again, you can determine the difference between different alternatives. And if you want to do co uh, erosion control, I mean, what should you use? Should you use filter, uh, filter strip? Should you use uh, zero tillage? Or what sort of option should you use? And what what uh, what is the difference between different options? And then there are two video number nines, and this is Again, about risk analysis under uncertainty, where you can calculate the risk of, uh, for example, in this video I have, I talk about terracing. What is the, what is the risk? Is it worth it? Should I do terracing or not? What should I gain from it, given the uncertainty and the risks involved? 
And then in 9.2, again, is risk analysis under uncertainty. And here, I just go through the program and show everything on the program. Here, I talk about it mostly on the PowerPoint. And here is just the program from beginning to the end. And I am working right now on another video, uh, another video that shows how to use SWATCOP to design, for example, filter strip. So for filter strip, BMP, uh, a design parameter is filter, the width of the filter. And you can actually use the program SWATCOP to design what would be the best uh, uh, width of the filter strip so that you the maximum reduction in sediment in total nitrogen in total and total phosphor and then we have one video on the error and the most error that people make is about the timing so this uh, video talks about the timing error so i hope that uh, this information is useful for you so you can find easily uh, what what you want to do if you have a question or you want uh, some more information about the situation you can go to the right video and uh, hope that it is useful Thank you for watching.